An accident in the water cooling system at the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, forced the company to call a general emergency and shut down part of the plant for an unspecified period. It roared uh, with a, uh, a tremendous uh, roar of releasing steam. It woke me up, uh, and uh, I looked out the window, and I saw this uh, huge column going up in the air and roaring. Everything is under control. There is and was no danger to public health and safety. There was a small release of radiation to the environment. All safety equipment functioned properly. Metropolitan Edison has been monitoring the air in the vicinity of the plant constantly since the incident. No increase in normal radiation levels has been detected. The situation is more complex than the company first led us to believe. We are taking more tests, and at this point we believe there is still no danger to the public health. Metropolitan Edison has given you and us conflicting information. The new information is this. The accident sent ionized radiation beaming through the plant's four-foot-thick walls. Consequently, the metal shield that protects the nuclear fuel may have been damaged. There's parts of leakage radiation is coming from our auxiliary building and some water that's uh, accumulated on the floor. We're presently pumping that up. That'll be contained in tanks. And once that's accomplished, well, then the, the radiation level releases uh, should be should stop. The only way uh, we have absolutely no question about the safety of nuclear plants as a result of this mishap. We do not refer to it as a nuclear accident because it was not that. And uh, as I say, all these systems went into operation as they should have. Uh, we think the record of the nuclear industry stands for itself. We do have a new development. Uh, it is not clear yet the extent of this development. There was an uncontrolled release of uh, radiation from the facility approximately 20 minutes ago. We were notified by the island. Right now, I think the wind has shifted, and uh, I don't know. I, I'm getting my radiological man in now. He's supposed to come in, and we have a Geiger counter. We want to check things development out. And instructed them to uh, develop a uh, higher state of readiness with the possibility of evacuation. The whole idea of being able to evacuate communities that size is absurd. It's been absurd all along, and it's just governmental and utility nonsense to talk about being able to cope with a situation by evacuation because you're never going to get the people out. We are advising the people on the basis of information, on the basis of a recommendation from the chairman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, that they simply ought to stay indoors as a precautionary measure you know, until they hear further word from us. It's that simple. Yeah, a lot of people are leaving the Harrisburg area right now. Uh, my own family's on the way to New York City right now to stay with relatives. Uh, a lot of people, the gas stations are flooded. The banks were busy. People were withdrawing some of their money so they could get out of here. We closed all the uh, windows in the building, like we've been told, and we've turned off all our univent heating and uh, conditioning system. The release, the release that was made, there may have been xenon, but xenon can be released to water if it's within acceptable limits. The release that was made yesterday was within the limits that were acceptable. And was, I don't know what, I don't know why we need to, we need to, to tell you each and everything that, that, that we do. Specifically when we make. We certainly feel responsible to the people that live around the plant. But one of the things that the people that live around the plant have to recognize is that we have to get on with our jobs. We're trying to keep everyone informed on an ongoing basis. Uh, we're on special alert. We don't know if there are going to be further uncontrolled emissions. I don't like the sound of depressurization, letting that bubble creep down into the core. Not yet. I don't think we want to depressurize yet. The, the latest burst didn't, uh, didn't hurt many people. I'm not sure why you're not moving people. Gotta say it. I've been seeing it down here. Uh, I don't know what we're protecting at this point. I think we ought to be moving people. How far out? How far out? Well, I get them downwind. And unfortunately, the wind is still meandering. And, uh, at these dose levels, that's probably not bad because it's dispersing. Yeah. But now, now we, how far? 
Based on advice of the chairman of the NRC, and in the interest of taking every precaution, I am advising those who may be particularly susceptible to the effects of any radiation, that is, pregnant women and preschool age children, to leave the area within a five mile radius of the Three Mile Island facility until further notice. Or let me stress once again that the historic record of nuclear power has been an excellent one. This is the first significant nuclear accident that we have experienced uh, in power plant operations in this country over a history. The toll of failure was mild, which raises the question, what would have occurred if the safety systems were severely taxed? I am concerned, Mr. Speaker, and want to understand what reason I now have in believing that other nuclear plants in the country are safe for the people living After around. After the fact, I think most people have realized that these accidents have actually shown that the design of nuclear plants is as is claimed, that they are designed to accommodate just about any imaginable mechanical or human error. I'll speculate, but I do not know that there were multiple failures because I doubt that one uh, would have gotten into this situation with a single, say, a valve man, uh, malfunctioned or a single uh, pump malfunction. What's it been like here uh, since Wednesday? Conflicting statements from the governor's office, the NRC here, the NRC in Washington, and the company Metropolitan Edison that owns the plant. There's been a severe communications problem uh, getting information back to Washington. I was there. I think we're very close to a, a chaotic situation. Part of it, I think, is a lack of credibility of what we're being told. Part of it's the confusion that's coming forward. I think it's inexcusable that we leave a private utility in full command of the situation. Uh, being advised and pulled and tugged and fragmented by the structure there. I think you certainly have to have uh, a military control. We haven't heard anything from the governor. The Associated Press started moving a story uh, about 20 minutes ago that the hydrogen bubble within the reactor is becoming unstable uh, and uh, could be dangerous. That would uh, cause a potential explosion, uh, and that's a very ominous sign. We are concerned, though, about the status of the fuel in the core. There's extensive fuel damage. How can you say it's not an accident when radiation is being detected as far away as 16 miles? The, the accident did not occur inside uh, the reactor in the slightest. It was a, uh, a feed pump uh, connected to the turbine outside of the reactor area. Now, that was a failure of a piece of machinery, and therefore it was an accident of a with regard to, it wasn't an accident, it was just a failure of a piece of machinery. There's also a bubble in the reactor vessel that means that any change in the hydraulics of the core have to be carefully monitored. So we're looking very carefully at the way the applicant intends to get the core to a cold shutdown condition. Uh, there's no relationship between that and what is thought of as a nuclear accident. The risk involved is that the gas would expand, prevent uh, cooling of the core, that we would suffer additional core damage, uh, and with the ultimate risk of a meltdown. I can't come to any other conclusion than that early Wednesday, that reactor had a loss of coolant accident. And it would seem to me that the core may very well be in the process of melting right now. We were suggesting that people should uh, simply prepare themselves to stay inside.